This video is intended solely for informational and educational purposes and is not meant as and should not be construed as medical advice. In this video, we'll be looking at a molecule called NAD and how to raise levels of it inexpensively or for free. NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It has many important functions in the body. It helps convert the energy in food molecules into a type of energy that can be utilized by our cells. It helps repair damaged DNA. It protects cells from stress. It supports our sirtuin genes, which have been identified as longevity genes designed specifically to combat aging and help us live longer. We wouldn't be alive at all without NAD. When we're young, we have lots of it. As we age, NAD levels decrease. Higher levels are associated with better health. So supplements and treatments claiming to increase NAD are becoming wildly popular and a big business. Some methods of raising NAD, such as taking nutritional supplements, are pretty pricey, but some are actually cheap or free. I'll be going into the supplements in another video. In this one, I'll be focusing on how to raise your NAD levels for free. Supplements cost money, but it turns out that supplements are only shortcuts to a biological process that happens naturally at no cost under certain circumstances. You can raise your body's NAD levels for free by subjecting your body to enough stress to make it think it's in a survival situation, but not enough to actually harm it. We're talking about physical stress, not emotional, and very limited and specific kinds of it. Ways to increase your NAD levels for free include doing HIIT exercise, high intensity interval training. The trick is to exercise vigorously enough to create a temporary oxygen deficit. In plain English, you have to push yourself till you get out of breath. One example would be running as hard and fast as you can, then walking, then running as hard and fast as you can again, then walking, and so on. The shifts between walking and running, between pushing ourselves to the limit and giving ourselves 15 or 20 seconds to recover, then pushing ourselves again, are what make the body think we may be running from a predator and kick it into survival mode, which can activate our sirtuin genes, otherwise known as longevity genes. If there's a medical reason you should not be exercising, don't do it. But if there's not, doing HIIT exercise at least three days a week is a quick and easy way to start skyrocketing your NAD levels. Another method is doing intermittent fasting, also known as time-restricted eating leaving a space of at least 12 hours, preferably 16 hours every day between your last meal at night and your first meal the next day. If you do intermittent fasting, it's recommended that you avoid eating in the last three or four hours before you go to bed so that you'll go to bed a little hungry. The hunger is what triggers your body to produce more NAD. Another method is doing a four or five day water fast or a fasting mimicking diet, like the one developed by Dr. Walter Longo. Fasts and fasting mimicking diets make our NAD levels skyrocket. And they also promote a deep cleaning on a cellular level called autophagy. And an even deeper cleaning called apoptosis, in which half-dead cells called senescent cells are cleared out of the body. As a bonus, if you do a five-day fast, or fasting mimicking diet, then start eating nutritious foods again, your body will replace the senescent cells it cannibalized with thousands of new stem cells. Another method of increasing NAD for free is cold exposure. Take a cold shower or fill the tub with cold water and throw in some ice, then climb in and spend a few minutes shivering. Another is heat exposure, as in taking a sauna. A third method is alternating very hot stretches and very cold stretches in the same shower. I start most days with a contrast shower. I turn the water as hot as I can take it for about four minutes, 
them ice cold for a minute, then as hot as I can take it again for another four, then end on four minutes of ice cold. I'm never cold after the shower. Please note that raising NAD is good. And again, you don't need to spend money to do it, but it won't do you a lot of good unless you activate it. For that, I'd recommend taking at least one supplement called Transresveratrol, or the one called Terastilbene. I'll talk more about them in the next video, focusing on food and supplements that can raise NAD. Till then, live long, have fun, and be well.